Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to be trying something different. Uh, Stranded Deep. I've played it a little bit before. Um, it's quite a good game. It's nowhere near as far along as in as with uh, The Forest. Though it's come a lot, a lot further than when I last played it. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Uh, I'm actually suffering from a bit of forest burnout. So I thought something like this would actually help cure it. Give me a bit of a distraction. Now, I did start a, a game the other day just to kind of feel to see if it was worth playing. But the game messed up bad, man. <laughs> I'm really hoping the bug doesn't happen again. But basically the whole screen got covered in black and I couldn't see where I was going. Now, I can't remember this. Uh, go existing. I don't know what I just did. I got no idea. It's funny, it's kind of similar to Forest. You start with um, your shirt all torn up and that. <laughs> is if you ever go into cam mode, you can actually look around and see that your shirt's all dirty in the forest. I think Stranded Deep may have copied a few things from uh, Forest. That pen hasn't moved. Must be a very good pen. I want to know the brand name. It's not a bad opening sequence though. Now, they've actually made it easier to get out of the plane after it's crashed. I've noticed that the other, when I was playing it the other day. I think you can grab anything. But yes, once you leave this plane, you cannot get it back. And this game I actually find more scary than the forest, probably because I'm so used to the forest. But it might be the whole shark thing. I mean, I don't have a phobia of sharks, so I don't know what it's called, but... Common sense prevails to some extent. I mean, <laughs> they're like the apex predators of the ocean. You gotta have some common sense. <laughs> uh, and I live in Australia, and Australia is probably one of the worst countries in the world for sharks. I think we're up there in terms of shark attacks. I think Mexico is not far behind. Okay. Let's see if I can remember what I'm doing. Yep, sticks, rocks. Forest all over. Controls feel a bit funny. Like you keep walking after you stop. Yes, yeah, so I remember tarps. The most useful item, I think. To start, anyway. Now, I should be able to craft a... Um, you hold down C and you can get a quick menu thing. I don't know what I just did. Sweet. I think your first island has that much. Let's give you something to start and get going. Always try to get the coconuts without having to climb the tree, because climbing the trees are a pain. Ooh, these are the good ones from memory. They drop heaps of those little uh, fern things. Uh, Fibrious fern leaves, or whatever they're called. I don't really know. Um, something else I learned. Don't go into nighttime without a shelter or light. It's it's not like the forest. You, you literally can't see in this game. I remember these things respawn when you leave the game and come back. These leaves things. But, um... Yeah... They're very valuable from memory. It's good, there's heaps of them. One thing I didn't like, and I'm just whinging here, was how easy it is to lose your island in this game. It was ridiculous how easy you could lose it. Then again, I'm a noob at this. I think I've taken all I can. It's not like the forest where rocks just keep respawning and this is... And same with sticks, it's really rare. 
I like the tropical setting. It's actually quite cool. It'd be cool if the forest had some tropical sort of elements to it. I was thinking just before that this game would be awesome if it was merged with the forest. It's got so many elements I'd love to see in the forest. But yes, I've milked this island for all I can, I believe. I can make lashings and then I can make a refined knife. God, getting off the island's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I was sailing like this the other day. It just started, black just started coming over all the screen. And I looked it up and I couldn't find a solution for it. See, like you could swim down there and grab uh, what's underneath that thing. That would be a boat. There'll be like this sort of stuff that we, we, we really want in the forest, but they just won't introduce it, like underwater content. But in the forest, the sharks aren't that dangerous, I believe. In this, I feel like they're a lot more dangerous. So I think I'm going to another small island. And there's a bigger one over to the left. There's the shark music. I've never been taken out by a shark in a boat. I don't know how it works. I think they nudge you. But I'd imagine if you sat still, you'd be... You'd be fucked. They'll get you. But I'm not sitting still, that is for sure. It's a shame you can't really see him. Wherever you look, you paddle towards. You can't use the arrow keys. So I can't look around and for the shark underneath. I'm wondering if I could get two islands in one day before it gets night time. Yeah, screw going out in the water. That is not my idea of fun. I don't think these crabs, man. They can attack you. Yeah, how do I open my inventory? That's right. Fine. Refined knife. Oh, it's actually, this is actually a curious question. Um, I notice a lot of Germans play the forest. I wonder if this game has a similar element. I'm not sure what appeals to the Germans with uh, the forest. Maybe it's just a great freaking game and the Germans have good taste. Last time I played this, uh, custom building was crap. Really actually had no use. Okay, I'm filled. I build some stone tools, maybe. Now, where's a bow? Crude bow. Need one lashing. I'm such a noob. Okay. Crude bow. I can't pick it up because of inventory system in this is frustrating it's okay it works well for what the game is you can carry a lot of arrows from memory not much of everything else oh my god <laughs> I forgot how frustrating this was Why can I make so many? Ah, because I've got a lot of rocks. Maybe I should get rid of some of these coconuts. Now, there's got to be an easier way. I keep pressing I for the inventory. Like, the freaking roll away. I think I'm doing this right. I don't think you can open them in your inventory. Yeah, it seems a bit tedious. You gotta do it like this. Okay, that's all gone. And then you press Q to drop them. Yeah, this is tedious there. <laughs> Grab that coconut halves. And yes, that's how you eat. <laughs> uh, I suppose this is like real cooking or anything, but. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. There's potatoes here. What do you want? Ah, fruit. Yeah, those are rare. Because they can be eaten on the go. You don't have to do anything with them. So they purposely make the coconuts difficult. So, so you go out and do things a bit more properly, I guess. 
can't remember if you can pull your boat apart and rebuild it because from memory it wasn't that wasn't that enjoyable like your boat was uh set once you built it and i don't think you could pull it apart so if you found some cool crap and you wanted to rebuild your boat you're stuck brother see i don't know how like if it's worth getting more coconuts from here and taking them with me i don't know because coconuts are in huge supply for memory seems like they've added more of these leaf things because when i played it last time there was bugger all and you use them for just about everything yeah i've got to piss off quick 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 we're going to another island maybe one that's a little bit more okay i can i'm gonna go over this way because i got high hopes it's a toss-up between these two islands but you can tell the big islands by the ones that got the tall trees on it so i might go to this one over here no i'm gonna go to this one it's getting dark quick come on paddle harder brother shit yep there we go that's that problem so i don't think i'm going to be playing this game until i can sort out what this bug is because as you can see i cannot do crap and it just keeps eating away at my screen Oh, it's going. No, nah, there we go. And then you can't figure out where you are. So, well, that's disappointing. Because that was starting to get fun. But I think I might have been screwed because it was getting dark. And it gets dark so quick. Not like this got a dark. <laughs> oh, crap. Anyway. <laughs> I won't be playing this game again unless I can solve this problem. So if anyone's got a solution for me, let me know. If you have any idea for other games that might be a little bit better than this in terms of it, they're going to actually work, let me know in the comments, please. And as I was saying before, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.